Hey everybody, 13 Year Almighty here, and on this edition of the Geek Report, I'll be reviewing Destiny 2. So stick tuned to that. Alright, so let's get down to the nitty gritty here. My thoughts on Destiny 2. When comparing it to Destiny 1, it's a very huge improvement. It's just smoother, nicer, the HUD and reticle they have is better. Still don't like the fact that, you know, your little radar mini-map disappears when you aim down sights. So it's easy, if you're not really paying attention, to get surrounded by enemies. But other than that, it's beautiful. The way the HUD looks is beautiful. The graphics on it, it's far better than you would think it would be. Its format is still the same. It runs pretty much the same way. I like the changes they did with weapons. No longer do are you getting random rolls on the same weapon. So no more that RNG. All if you get that weapon, it's the exact same. It's person like the exact same loadout someone else had. So that's that's nice and fine and dandy. I like the way the infusion works, but at the same time I don't like the way the infusion works. I like how you can bring it up to, you can bring your power of your weapons a lot up higher and a lot faster. But at the same time it's kinda locked. Not kinda, it is locked to that type of weapon. If you wanna bring it up. So you can't infuse if you have this, let's say, 298 light hand cannon that you wanna put into your scout rifle, you can't. It has to be the same weapon type. Scout rifle to scout rifle, pulse rifle to pulse rifle, uh, sword to sword, same exact thing. You can no longer do that for your class items either. Like, you can't put hunt infused hunter armor into titan armor. So you really have to like, grind out for the gears that you need to increase your life. But the way they have it set up, well not set up, but the way some people figure it out. When you do certain milestones, they give you gear. Certain milestones will say powerful gear. And if it says powerful gear, it pretty much means that it will scale to your current light level. So, what can we expect from this so what people have been doing is getting up to a certain light level, doing these milestones, and then waiting until they got a bit stronger. That way when they collected it, it would be even stronger than before. What I mean is, I did this the other day, uh, when my light was at 250, I got a powerful gear and it said 260 on it. Then I increased my light level to 265. And when I went back to collect that powerful gear, it said 270. So it scales with you as you're going along, which is nice. So setting up your character to do that will be an amazing thing to do. Uh, what else about this? The Crucible. The Crucible is nice. It feels more controlled. Hopefully gone are the days when you know a patch will come out and now this type of weapon is the domination Like it's dominating it because we all remember when hand cannons ruled The crucible back in Destiny 1. We all remember the foreign being pretty much a one shot if you got a headshot that Hopefully gone are those days. Although I do miss The scout rifles and I'm upset that they never got that same type of um, in Destiny 1. Crucible's nice. They brought it down from 60v6 to 4v4 for a more smooth and competitive play. Things I don't like about the Crucible compared to Destiny 1 is Destiny 1, you had a different playlist. You had the option to go with a different playlist as well. So Mayhem, Rumble, you know. I can't remember the other ones, but pretty much capture the flag and all that. In domination, you you could pick it. You didn't, you know, wasn't randomized. Destiny 2, they've gotten rid of that option. So you go and sit and whatnot, 
you go there and it just says quick play and it throws you into any type of random match. It kind of reminds me of uh, Overwatch quick play. Quick play, you get tossed into some random map. You know, each map is a different type of game mode, essentially. But yeah, I like the competitive thing that's going on. Seems really nice. I can't wait to take my trial, my turn at the trials because I missed it. Had some work to do. But what else can I say? Strikes. I'm liking strikes. I do wish they gave us the heroic option back rather than just having strikes and then the nightfall. I enjoyed having, you know, strike, normal strikes, heroic strikes. Then you had, you know, the nightfall. For those ones that, you know, didn't want to sit there, do the normal strikes, because, you know, once you get good at it, once you get used to it, it's fairly, fairly easy to run through. And not. the gameplay you'll be seeing with me. I wasn't fully paying attention the entire time, so you'll see me do make a couple of mistakes as we're going through this strike with two random people because my friends abandoned me. But strikes feel nice. I haven't had the opportunity to do the nightfall yet. But when I do do that, hopefully it will feel good. From what I'm being told, it feels amazing. It's different. You actually have to go through it and whatnot. Like, um, I don't know how to say this. You actually have to go through and you can't sit and wait like you used to on the old strikes. You know, everybody got the icebreaker. Let me sit here, just chill in the back, pick people off while it recharges ammo because I don't want to get riggedy riggedy wreck real quick by the you know end of this but now they made it so the timer you have to keep, keep increasing the timer so you have to be more active and more aggressive on it i haven't had the chance to take part of the raid but when i do hopefully it will throw me revive them or see massive a world eating planet that that's something that's terrifying but for let's go towards a little bit more of the smaller aesthetic changes Things I really don't like. Shaders. I don't like the shaders. I don't like how the shaders work. Now, are you, I miss the days where you know you take the shader, you put it on, and it covers your entire garden in that shader. Now you have to get that, make sure you get the same, multiples of that same shader so you can put it on your garden and whatnot so you, you, know, you can all look fancy and whatnot. Although I will say I do like the fact that, you know, uh, you can put it on your weapons and you can put it on your sparrow as well as your ghost. So, you know, you get a full, a full set and as long as you're not wearing, you know, any exotic weapons, you can go all decked out with all your gear in one go, one color. That's nice. I can't wait to get a dead orbit shader. You decked out everything, decked out in all black as I go in around. Crushing, high, smashing, falling, flipping cabal, and dismantling the Vex. So there's that. One thing I don't like. I don't like the the tree the skill tree progression for your guardian and their subclass. It's like Destiny One was more customizable. You could fit it to do, you know, so that they want max armor. You fit it to make max armor. Uh, max health regen, max mobility, as well as your different skills. And then this one, you get pretty much with each class two set paths to go through, which is nice in how the cool that full path works. You're saying if you're a uh, Sunbreaker Titan, I, I'm a Titan, because you know, we are the master race. Screw the other ones. But if you are Sunbreaker Titan, you can either have it set to cause massive amounts of splash damage as you're going around or massive amounts of just pinpoint damage you know your, wherever your hammer falls it creates a sunspot all right you can now move there go there increase star run all that or you can you know throw your hammer your hammer explodes into like 
a cluster bomb and whatever I think it's set to whatever it gets hit by it also in swords. So that's nice. I like how it's consistent with all each class. I like the new ability for Titans with the barriers. That's something nice. Gone of the days of you have to be a uh, Void Titan to make a barrier. You can just make a barrier or a Raleigh barrier. So that's nice. I haven't gotten the test up to some other classes yet, but yeah, like since I've been playing it, I've been having a very wonderful time with it. I completely love it, and I can't wait for whatever expansions come out. You no, know, I'm getting them. I'm going to play them, and then on top of that, I will be streaming them. So. We'll let you know when the, that's happening, so you can see it for yourselves. Or come join me in this stream. Go on, work my plan, and have a wonderful time. Other than that, I'm 13 the Almighty. It's hot as fuck in here, and I'll see y'all fucks next time.